Hello again, everybody, and Happy New Year. It's Harry Box for the Technical Trader. It's uh, Monday, January 4th, and this is the uh, evening charts of the day. Um, today, we're going to talk about some of the stocks that uh, appear to be breaking out. There's certainly a lot of them. It was tough to narrow them down, and that goes to show you how many stocks are out there now that appear to be moving and, and surging up. Um, sometimes when you get too many of them all at once, it's usually an indication the market may be some, somewhat uh, get overbought or nearing an important peak, but we'll ride it until uh, they turn them lower. Um, for starters, um, ArcSight, ARST, which has been on my um, Fab 40 list for months, as you can see, here's why. They break out in, Je in December, the early flag here, and then a, a rising beautiful channel all year, which has taken its stock from uh, uh, the... Uh, Seven dollar range up to um, 28.73 today. That was a breakout of 3.15. As you can see, we had highs in November and December, which were pierced on heavy volume today, trading one, nearly 1.7 million shares, the second heaviest volume since September, and uh, a clean breakout through that range. The cup and handle here. Short-term trading target certainly around the 30-31 zone, but um, from, the, from the intermediate target, you can see that the tra rising trend channel shows that 40 or better is definitely doable in ARST, and we'll see what happens with that as we go. But certainly um, uh, some, some, some strong price volume surge today with good technicals. BEXP, which has been a darling of ours for uh, months now, uh, having gone from 1 to 15, a 15 fold increase since March, massive head and shoulders bottom breakout, long run, rising, narrowing coil, the breakout of that, and then over the course of last week, a nice bull flag formed today. It popped out a dollar 45 on 4.4 million shares, and it's breaking out again. Looks like a run at this level, which is the old high up around 18 uh, thereabout, is doable short term, and that's what we'll be, we'll be looking for. China Automotive in a very strong Chinese group today um, had a, has a kind of a head and shoulders type of basing pattern. Broke up 214 today. 1.8 million shares of heaviest volume in um, three, four weeks, and um, looks like it's coming across the declining tops line. Next target, 26 plus, up in this range, maybe 27. CAGC, which had a similar pattern, a little head and shoulders here, exploded today for 480, 17% on 1.1 million shares. That's pretty heavy volume for that stock. As you can see, the Rising channel indicates a possibility of a move up towards the 38.9 zone, my short-term target. CSIQ, one of my favorites in the solar energy group, and has been for a couple of years now, um, in, in a sharply rising accelerated channel over the last 60 days, which has seen the stock go from 14 to 31, um, closing at the high for the day, going away here at 30.99, um, up to 17. Um, on good volume, increasing volume, the heaviest volume in about six, seven sessions. Uh, now we have a target around 32, um, which we could reach tomorrow. But beyond that, the long-term rising channel says the possibilities exist that CSIQ can move it, make it back to the mid to high 40s, if not retest the 50-52 zone that it reached uh, back here in um, June of 08. GERN or Geron Corp. Uh, GERN um, was in a declining channel for the last several months, based out over the last 60 days, spiked up at 67 cents today on heavy volume of 8.57 million here. That's the biggest volume in a month. Clean breakout above the moving averages, got up to resistance. Any follow through here in this stock could explode. Near term target around 7, 15, 20. But beyond that, um, a move back up towards 7.46 which is much more formidable resistance in my mind, is uh, the likely short-term target. <clears throat> GNK, my favorite stock in the shipping group, broke out today, jumped 233 on 2.7 million shares, um, and maybe in, in, in the process of an important breakaway surge. The, and there is a double top um, from the May-June period and the November top around 29.5, which is my... Uh, not 29 and a half, three quarters, my short term trading target. GPRE intrigues me up a dollar five today, just under 16, which is the um, recent high. Um, but a th three day flag may have been completed today with this surge, closing just a few cents off the high for the day. The breakout from the coil was followed by that uh, flag 
underlying technicals actually increase today, and I think this stock is headed towards the $19 level short term, particularly if it gets to 16. The uh, channel, however, says the possibility exists that this gets into the mid-20s. Heat. Strong session today, up a dollar 34, breaking out of this wedge with increasing volume. Up a dollar 34, as I said, up 9%. Um, initial target up around 17, 17 and a quarter. Could be doable, very short term. Uh, secondary target around 18 and a half, 19. <clears throat> Portfolio positioning candy, KNDI, had a big price reversal today with volume across two moving averages and um, got up right up to its mid-December high before backing off in the late the session, but still up 30%, up a dollar 32 today. Excellent day for it. Reestablishing the trend. Uh, looking for a move that takes this near the $7 range short term and then beyond um, something around the 9 10 range is doable. <clears throat> Moving down to seed, S-E-E-D. Really like the fact that the um, falling wedge was broken on big volume last week. Backed off on Thursday and then came out again today, up 46 cents on nearly 13 million shares. Um, obvious resistance exists around 1280.13 up in the zone here. Our bank got through that and the stock could spike up um, towards the 14.15 level, my short term trading target. Portfolio position Tianyin Pharmaceuticals, it's a small junior jet biotech in China, um, broke out of a very bullish wedge or coil here, pennant, whatever you want to call it, low volume ebb. Last week, just before today's spike up on over a million shares, 62 cent gain or almost 15%, um, closing at the high for the day going away. This to me, or right near it, and this looks like um, target up around the 7.5 the level is uh, where this thing is headed short term. TSTC, super stock, Chinese stock, uh, this year has risen from under a buck to 22.5, <clears throat> and uh, today broke out of a three day bull flag. On increasing volume. Top of the short term channel says around 24 is doable. Should, we may see that as quickly as tomorrow. And then the uh, longer term target up around 30 plus, uh, very much in the cards. Last one today Zero Tech's portfolio position jumped 90 cents or almost 7%, uh, maybe breaking out of the this congestion range or consolidation that has held the rising trend line and moving averages. Today was a good day as it closed at a new closing high. And um, long-term target up around mid-20s, short-term target in the high teens. That's it for tonight. Let's see how it goes tomorrow. Good luck. Hello again, everybody.